let us now try to understand what is the difference between declaration versus definition of a variable this question is quite commonly asked during campus interviews or even during your why was in your lab exam in order to understand the difference between declaration and definition let's take a look at a simple example let's say i have written program a dot c this is in a one file this is a separate file i have declared a variable x of the type integer and i have given it the initial value 10 now in real world what we do is generally if there is a big project we divide it into a number of files so file 1 maybe i'll be writing the code file 2 you will be writing the code file 3 let's say arjun is writing the code since three different people are writing the code and let us say they want to use the variable x across these three files now you cannot declare int x is 10 here int x is 10 here and int x is 10 here and then combine them and try to compile you will get an error it will say redeclaration of x so what we do is we do int x is assigned the value 10 just once and every year where where we are going to use this x like in file 2 and file 3 i'll just say extern x extern x so what this extern x and extern x declaration does is when the compiler is compiling this program b.c it look at x okay i should say extern int x so it should know that data type extern int x so when it looks at extern int x the compiler knows that this particular x is defined somewhere and it is just being used here similarly when it comes here it knows this x is defined somewhere and i'm merely declaring it here so what happens in definition and declaration is this is the definition in definition i am not only declaring a variable x of the type integer giving it the in in initial value 10 storage space for x is allocated in the definition whereas here and here no storage space is allocated it just tells the compiler that i am using x which is defined somewhere and i am merely referring to x in this particular program so the compiler needs to know the data type of x which i am showing here and extern tells it that it is defined somewhere and i am going to use it within this particular program so definition allocates memory space you can do definition only once because you cannot allocate memory multiple times for the same variable but variable declaration you can do as many number of times as you really need to do in your program so let's look at declaration so the job of declaration is to inform the compiler about the name name is x data type is integer okay that's what this declaration is doing what does this declaration involve declaration is showing the model or the prototype of this particular x which is being used here so this is just the model of this actual x which is being going to be used here so the model declaration is required for the compiler to process x suppose you are giving x which is integer you are trying to give a floating point value the compiler will flag an error when it is compiling this because it knows x is integer it should not accept a real number so those kind of things will are required that's why you do a model declaration i already told you earlier you can declare this same variable multiple times but you can define it only once the purpose of declaration it serves the purpose of identification of this variable x to the compiler and the compiler tends to know what are the properties of x that means it's an integer variable it can only accept integer values all right so that's the purpose of declaration now what is definition definition you give the data type which is integer you can you may or may not give it the initial value but most importantly memory space is allocated during definition memory space is not allocated during declaration and finally you only define it once but you can declare it as many times as you are going to use in your particular code